Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Wilson Seahawks going up against Cars Raiders. It's a day, Larry, that fans in these parts will need to savor as we come to you from the East Bay and Oakland, California. The pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Seattle Seahawks. The Raiders set to kick. Here's Sebastian Janikowski to start us as this one is underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. The very first play from scrimmage. How about that? Talk about setting a tone. And people always talk about doing exactly that in the first five minutes of the game, the first offensive and defensive series. Who's going to gain an advantage? But we saw exactly what happened there. A tone was definitely set by the offensive team. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. First carry now for Marshawn Lynch. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. DeAndre Washington, his first carry. Big seam, and he might go all the way. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. DeAndre Washington, 65 yards. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. And this one through the uprights and good. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? 
Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I mean, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They run with a power back. Rawls. And a loose football. Rawls loses it. The 40. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 30 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Raiders. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Here's Carr. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine on the play. And just like that, it's third down. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On your own side of the field. side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. It's a pick up of three that time, and it'll give the Raiders a first down. from the gun. It's Carr. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Ten yards still left on second down. to throw again. Carr to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two, now third down. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Carr fighting Patterson there for a Raider first. Throwing on first down is Carr. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? On second down, Lynch. 
And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Now Carr, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought that had to be? Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. <laughs> Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yo, know, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, <laughs> just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. So this brings up a second and two. Carr. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Carr now on first down. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. Cook stripped, the ball's out, and the Seahawks have recovered. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Able to power through. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Now Wilson, eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. On third down, pro size. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. One of the things I love about this game is there's a match of wits throughout the game. Who's going to get the advantage? Who's going to catch someone off guard? It's like the offense. Th Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Now after the INT, it's Carr. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. 
Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Shotgun now for Carr. He's going to fire this thing deep right. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. And tough starting field position here. After the interception, here's Wilson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken very short. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. to the air. Wilson after the pick six. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Raiders pick it up. Does the big boy have the juice? I think what we just saw there with that fumble return is the increased emphasis on taking the ball away from another team. And no one wants to just fall on in football anymore, do they? They want to take it and try and score themselves. But when you fall one yard short of getting in the end zone, it's a former defender, you know. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders! Derek Carr scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Second down now after the incompletion. Hey, hey, 
And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Baldwin. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Now whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Play fake here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Khalil Mack. And it'll be a second and long. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. On second down, Wilson. That is caught at the seven. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On the ground, Rawls. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Thomas Rawls with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. And he puts it through. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. It's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Over the middle complete. That's good. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them a first down. 15 yards that time for the Raiders. They go play action here on first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more. Come and all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Amari Cooper, 56 yards. And the Raiders. They're within an extra point of tying this thing up. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Wilson going to give to Rawls. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Wilson trying to urge his guys to go faster and get set at the line. On second down, Rawls. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. 
He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays, he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it. Rest of the game. And that does get in your mind a little bit, and sometimes that slows down your effort in trying to get free from tacklers. And the defenders know it, too. They sniff that out, don't they? Everybody wants to swarm the football. You know the rule is. First guy hold up the runner. Everyone else try and get there and strip the ball free. He finds his man, Baldwin. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. I don't care how many times you tell the story. It never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted out of Stanford, and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where he's from right on the water near Pensacola, and then, of course, to Stanford, and, boy, he's been good. Off the play fake to Rawls. Wilson. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The Seahawks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Wilson going to hand it to Prosize. And he gets it down to the 32. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Jimmy Graham, 32 yards. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. This is taken about seven yards deep. And this will get out of bounds. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Carr out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make this a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. And they're definitely showing blitz here. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Card out of throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. Fresh set of downs here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got some space here. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Car now on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. There he goes, left side, and he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. DeAndre was 
Washington in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. And things are getting good now. We're heating up tied at 35. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half. It's Wilson out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. Now they'll run it on the toss. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. And Cook has it left side. A Raiders first down car hooking up with Cook. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. On first and ten, here's Carr. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Johnny Holton. 58 yards, and the Raiders have moved out in front. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field, and that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control, and how about the end result? A touchdown. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now Wilson on first down. It's caught out right by Graham. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. And that one results in 35 yards. So here we go, first and 10 now. A fake to Rawls. Now it's Wilson. Complete. Richardson has it. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Paul Richardson, 43 yards. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Nifty move. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half. Tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. And complete right side to Cook. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? They sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Car to throw on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he eventually goes down, but not before reaching the 30-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. First down, the run with Lynch. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Marshawn Lynch. 30 yards, and the Raiders have moved out in front. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, eh? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. to kick is Janikowski. So that one will be accepted. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard, but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the safety, Reggie Nelson. And a return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here's Carr to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. 
Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. yards and with that last play he's now up over that 300 yard mark and in today's NFL it almost feels routine and I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game to me 300 yards still signifies excellence and he's achieved that in this performance throwing on first down is Carr and that would not to be it's incomplete so they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Yay. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Now Carr maybe with a free play. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Six eighteen. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Carr gives to Marshawn. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That regular walk. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know your defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A gain of four on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. They start on the ground with Rawls. And brought down, but not before. 
before reaching the 45-yard line. They give him 14 the yards is that time. Still running. What is down. this? Thanks. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the ground on first. Again, it's Rawls. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Yeah. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Second down following the run. Back to throw. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain at 21 yards. So the offense has it first and 10. This really happened for real. Back to throw. Oh, man. Oh, man. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And inside the 20 oh, before he's down. 12 oh, more man. yards there and another first down. And yeah, we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Do it. First down. This is Rawls. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra score. point can tie this thing up in the final minute. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth. Now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now. Play. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Boy, that one really could have turned this thing upside down. So a little under 50 Clear. seconds to go. Nice. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Down the numbers. There he goes. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back yeah, near midfield at the 49. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that I had one. Had to it, neck it, neck it. Things going in their direction after a play like that. They'll try and wind down some clock with Lynch. Been yeah. able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And yeah, now the Seahawks are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Raiders on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. To throw his car. And that's complete to Walford. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A big pick up there. And without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance. But that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice. That one more stop. Feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. 
they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been